children so in this session we will discuss some uh, reasoning based question of this chapter that is chemical bonding so this is the first part of the topic so each questions are uh, challenging reasoning questions so go through it. it it will be useful for your examination purpose as well as competition examination both your uh, board level examination and entrance so let us see one by one carbon atom has two unpaired electrons in p orbitals whereas it shows four covalence explain so what is the answer? So answer is it is uh, quite easy. So if you see the electronic configuration of carbon, this is 1s2, 2s2, p2. So if you can write in terms of orbitals, this is the uh, 2s2 and this is the 2p2. This is the 2s2, this is the 2p2. So what happens when the electron is in excited states? So one electron will transfer from the s to p, like this one. So this becomes a 4 unpaired. That's why. Uh, this carbon has it shows the four covalency though uh, in ground state they have two unpaired but excited state it has four unpaired electrons plus is more stable than copper plus so this is more stable than this plus so what is the reason so reason is uh, this is stable but this is if you see the electronic configuration uh, cu plus this is four three ten and four is zero so this is fulfilled but in this case, in this case, nuclear charge is not sufficient enough to hold the core of 18 electrons. So, in this case, the nuclear charge is 18 electrons. So, 10 plus 8, that is 3p and 3d. So, 3spd, both 3s, 3pd, 18 electrons means we can take both the 3s, 3p and 3d. So, it becomes 10 plus 6 plus 2, all 18 electrons. So, this cannot be held by the nucleus. While if you take the this charge uh, in the plus 2 state, the both charges are equal. So, here it can hold it. So electron easily hold here yeah, electron is not hold so due to which copper uh, copper uh, copper q plus plus is less stable than the cupric copper iron 3 plus is more stable than iron 2 plus so here things are reversed you can see if you go through the electronic configuration iron 3 plus have a 3d5 4 s 0 argon so this is the half field but if you take here this is the 3 s 6 4 s 0 in fp 2 plus so in case of ferrous ferrous is unstable but in case of ferric this will be fulfilled. This is more stable. This is the less stable. Uh, why do electrovalent compound exist as a solid? So, if you see this electrovalent compound, so they have a strong non-directional Coulombic forces. So, between the two compounds or any compounds which exist in solid, they have a non-directional Coulombic forces, which is uh, between the ions and it reacts the high lattice energy. That's why they exist in solid state. Sodium conduct electricity in solid state, but sodium chloride does not. Why? So the reason is very clear. Uh, sodium being metal, it involves metallic bonding between the atoms in solid state, having mobile electrons. So they have mobile electrons which conduct current. But in sodium chloride, ions are held in lattice, and they are not free to move. That's why sodium chloride electricity in solid state, but uh, sodium chloride does not. Sodium chloride in aqueous gives a white precipitate with silver nitrate solution, but CCl4 or chloroform does not. Why? So, what is the reason? So, reason is CCl4 or chloroform. These are non-polar solvent. These are non-polar solvent, and they do not give Cl minus ions in solution. That is that. Uh, that is why NaCl gives Cl, and they will react with the AgNO3, while CCl4 and chloroform does not. The ionic compounds conduct uh, current in huge states. So. Let us see this uh, proper answer because ionic compound on fusion so they are separated into ions so on ions they can conduct current ccl4 is insoluble in water while nscl is soluble so explain it so in this cases we see nscl is a polar so it can dissolve in polar medium like water but uh, ccl4 is non-polar so they are insoluble in polar medium and we know that uh, like solvent dissolves in like solvent that's why uh, NaCl polar and water is polar so they can dissolve in the same way so this is also like both are similar to each other while CCl4 and water are dissimilar to each other in terms of polarity iodine is more soluble in CCl4 but less in water so region is again uh, same so iodine is non-polar that's why dissolve in non-polar solvent such as CCl4 CCl4 is non-polar solvent so again the same region like dissolves like so this is non-polar and this is non-polar so both are non-polar so they are dissolving same type of solvent ionic compounds melt at higher temperature in comparison to covalent compounds so what is the reason so reason is uh, ionic compounds they have a strong electrostatic force uh, forces between ions and they require high energy to overpower 
ओवर पावर दीज फोर्सेज सो ड्यू टू स्ट्रॉग इलेक्ट्रोस स्टेटिक फोर्सेज दे हैव हाई एनर्जी बट इन कोवेन कंपाउंड इट इज जस्ट वीक वनवाल फोर्सेज विच ऑपरेटिंग सो एक्चुअली वी आर कंपेयरिंग द फोर्सेज बिटवीन द मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड आयन इन सॉलिड स्टेट सो कंपेरिजन कंपेरिजन इज नॉट मेड बिटवीन आयनिक एंड कोवलन बॉन्ड विच आर प्रेजेंट बिटवीन आइटम सो जस्ट कीप दिस थिंग इन माइंड वॉट वी आर एक्चुअली डूइंग सो वी आर कंपेयरिंग मॉलिकल्स नॉट बिटवीन आयंस एंड मॉलिकल्स और आइटम्स वाई द पोलरिटी ऑफ एम एच बॉन्ड दिस इज द मेटल एंड हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड इंक्रीज इन द ऑर्डर सो डाउन द ग्रुप सो दिस इज द M but here it is a non-metal so in non-metals there is phosphorus and hydrogen so this is the uh, non-metal some atoms so it increases down the group like this order not down the group like this order like uh, ammonia is the highest the mh bond while the this element is a lowest order so reason is actually if you see the electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.1 but if you see phosphorus arsenic antimony and nitrogen so this is in increasing order only this is the highest order this is decreasing then highest so actually this is based on the increasing electronegative difference between uh, two atom that is responsible for increasing polarity so electronegative difference between nitrogen hydrogen like if you see phosphorus hydrogen this is 2.1 hydrogen and phosphorus but this is zero but in case of arsenic hydride this is hydride this is arsenic it will be 0.9 so this is in increasing order so this electronic difference is increasing so more electronic difference between nitrogen and hydrogen so this polarity is more higher between mh bond rather than the other molecules mg cl2 is linear but sn cl2 is angular so we this will explain in terms of by hybridization concept so if you see this one mg cl2 this is mg cl2 so it is a valence electron is 2 so we can get two electron this is the sp linear molecule but uh, tin has four electrons two electron is bonded with the chlorine so it is acquiring 1 2 3 sp2 hybridization so this will make a an angle but this will make a linear that is the angle is 180 degree centigrade that is 180 degree so this is angle and this is the linear carbon dioxide is non polar but so2 and water are polar explain So if you see here, uh, so this carbon dioxide is sp t sp hybridization. This is the structure, and this is linear structure. That's why its dipole moment is zero. When in case of SO two, this is sp two hybridization. This is sp three. So these two are angular in shape. So here angles are there because it has six electrons. Two is engaged in bonding two with oxygen, and one is a lone pair. Here we have two lone pair. So hybridization will be one, two, three, and four. So sp three, sp two. That's why this is non-angular, and this is the linear why helium is molecule is not formed so it is easy we can see helium if you take helium atom it is 1s2 and possesses no unpaired electrons for bonding but helium single positive molecule can be formed because it has one unpaired electron so this has no electrons this is not formed but this can be this molecule can be formed water is liquid while h2s is gas at ordinary temperature so it is very simple actually water has a hydrogen bonding water bond with the other molecules by hydrogen so this is the hydrogen bonding suppose this is a lone pair so this is bonded with the another oxygen like this one so again this is bonded with the again hydrogen so this is the these are the hydrogen bonding so these are the hydrogen bonding these are the hydrogen bonding but this hydrogen bonding is absent in h2s so it is an independent molecule why this is an associated molecules